Good morning. Hey, bud. It's day nine. It's day nine. Strawberry Linden Blossom Spread. Mm, that might be good. Chance to run on the field at halftime or a new ball. <laughs> you would love to go to a halftime, wouldn't you, bud? Suppose this is supposed to be a field. <laughs> there you go. They cute all lined up there in a row. Yes. So cute. <laughs> From my college gymnastics coach. Pretty card. Oh, she always writes a nice letter. From a dear knitting friend. Oh, what a nice picture. Oh, that's nice. In the mountains, they were skiing. And from another friend that I walk at the dog park with. Oh, and another nice letter. I got three letters. And the cards are growing. A few more each day kind of fun. So the late night viewing last night was Rito Marino and it was really good. Very, very interesting. I highly recommend it was originally broadcast on PBS. I found it on Netflix. You want to go out and throw the ball? You want to go out and throw the ball? Yeah? Do a little dance. Do a little happy dance. Excited? Oh my goodness. Let me get the balls. Here's the ball bin. All the toys, the frisbees. Yeah. <laughs> You're jumping up and down, bud. That was a rotten throw, Mama. Two balls. Bring them back. I love this little tree in my backyard. We planted it years ago. It's a slow grower, but it's got tiny little orange berries on it. And I just love that. Kind of spruces up the white landscape in the winter. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am just looking at emails this morning here in the office before I head to knitting group. Uh, so many of you are responding about my soup recipe yesterday and that a lot of your men folk don't like meatless meals. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. We can do lots of stereotypes around men. Um, and I will admit there are lots of stereotypes around women as well. But thanks for your comments on me doing my little cooking shenanigans yesterday. I might do another one today because we're going to try another meatless meal. <laughs> um, so we'll see if I do if I do video at this afternoon at my annual exam today. And so if you have not gone to the doctor in the last couple of years because COVID and all the things, right? This is your gentle reminder to get that taken care of, right? Go in and get yourself checked. You know, we can all do a little bit of preventative medicine. <laughs> and so I'm going to have that at right after my little knitting group meets. I will talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> because now after having, after having, it's beautiful. Try, try to do something. I, 
take photos of things is not easy. No, I think it's super it's pretty. Easy. It's just going to be a regular stockinette hat. It's your, it's stockinette. Oh, it's the. It's yours. Well, I know ribbing, but then <laughs> yeah. I meant the top. Oh, it's the Christina hat. <laughs> yeah, well, all the more reason. Oh, no, and self striping. I mean, and it's not. I don't. I'm not going to put the purse on because. But the what a brilliant idea! I oh, I have done I lots haven't. of them. I have This is a great pattern. Well, thank with, you. This with with or without curves, it's just a great. Oh, it's a Stephen West. Look at that beautiful blue <laughs> gradient, though. Yeah. It really is striking, Hilka. I mean, it's really pretty. I know. I love it as well. And it's fun to me. Okay, do your checks, all the things. Pap smear, getting the boobs checked. Tomorrow's the mammogram. Checking the lymph nodes, all the things, heart, lungs. Take care of yourselves. We all wanna be around for a long time. Supper tonight is red and white mastacholi. It is a recipe from the Food Nanny. And it is an Alfredo sauce first, and then a jar of spaghetti sauce with Mastacholi noodles. So I have my pan, uh, mozzarella cheese for on top, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, uh, whipping cream, heavy cream, um, mastacholi, and then I'm using Rao's marinara. And then I'm going to pair the pasta dish with some fish that we caught this summer. Uh, we have been using this up. Um, the pasta doesn't have any meat in it. Uh, Ross and I like to eat, try to eat fish at least once or twice a week. So we're gonna use this one. Okay, the recipe calls for a layer of red sauce and then a layer of mastacholi and then half of the Alfredo. So I'm gonna pour that on. It's about four cups, so I'm going to use about two cups poured over this. That is about half. And then, and then the other half of the red sauce just drizzled over the top completely. and then the rest of the mastacholi. So I don't know how much of that I actually videoed. I kind of lost track. So red, mastacholi, white, red, cheese, mastacholi, cheese. It's just a layering. So uh, now I've covered the top with mozzarella and it bakes in the hour for half an hour. It bakes in the oven at 350 for a half an hour. Um, like I said, I've never made this one before, but I think it will be delicious. I think it's like one of her most popular recipes. Hey everybody, I am just on the computer at the end of the day here checking emails. The mastacholi was a huge hit. Um, husband was surprised that we brought a chicken. He's been doing the grocery shopping lately. <laughs> and so we had the fish, it was delicious. Just did a little egg wash with some breadcrumbs and baked it in the oven on high. And yeah, it was, it was quite good. So I would recommend that recipe. Um, we are going to sit down and watch the Vikings game tonight. We're playing twice this week. We are big fans, even though our team does not look great right now and all of our players are injured. <laughs> um, it starts at 7.20, so I'm going to go put my pajamas on and curl up in knit on blanket so i'm going to show you that and where i'm at on that and then i'm going to call it a night so this will be a real short and sweet one today but i will see you all tomorrow and we're going to get a lot of snow five to eleven inches depending on where we live in the metro so <laughs> it should be really fun to see a lot a lot of snow here <clears throat> and maybe then i'll get out and get some christmas lights for you Today I'm wearing my Vena sweater. It is one of my favorites. Um, I have shared it on the podcast. I will stand up a little bit. It's got this beautiful, my chair is in the way. It's got this beautiful bottom 
the self-striping noral yarn does all the work. It is a noral pattern from a noral book. I've talked about it on the podcast, so if you want to know more about it, you can go look it up. Um, but short sleeve sweaters are really nice when you have almost 40 degree days today. So it was lovely. I ran around without a coat on um, to knitting group and I um, was perfectly fine. No big coat on, which is lovely. Uh, other than that, that's about all I have today. See you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye. So right now we are measuring at 27 inches. I would say I'm probably halfway, maybe. So I got to knit, knit, knit. I do like how the colors are striping. I try to kind of remember to use the same colors over and over again. You know, some greens, some blues, some browns, a little bit of orange. Just all leftovers. Thank you, Cody. And we're winning. <laughs> <laughs>